So, welcome everyone. This is uh, Archeon, and this is a presentation of uh, the uh, this mining quadcopter that I have built inside the game uh, as part of a demonstration for the adventure mode that's going to be uh, releasing tomorrow on May the 16th, uh, also coming with the Steam release. So this quadcopter is equipped with a mining drill um, and also 16 RTGs uh, and four high voltage batteries. So the, uh, high, the uh, RTGs will recharge the batteries when the uh, quadcopter is not in use. And um, it also has uh, three seats. You can sit three people in there. You have a complex dashboard with a radar, so let me just uh, um, hop in. So, master on. You see the screens here. We have a screen here that will tell you what elements are under the drill bit. Um, and uh, we have a scanner here. This is uh, this acts like a radar. It's real time. Uh, in this mode, you see uh, the elements in front of the uh, of the quadcopter. You also have a three hundred sixty degree mode. It just turns around. So this actually is this thing right there. Right. So it just rotates and scans the environment for some uh, specific element. Right now it scans for iron, and we can swap it. Uranium, gold, uh, tungsten, titanium. I mean, there's not much of those in the one kilometer radius, but there's plenty of uh, carbon. So we can also change the uh, radius here. And we can change the mode back to the uh, radar mode. So uh, we are anchored right now. So let's release the anchor. We can shut down the radar for now. There's also headlights. We can turn on the motor. So this, uh, this quadcopter, ha um, uh, the rotors are equipped with hinges. Uh, they will pivot forward. Uh, let me just ground anchor it actually to show what it does. So now it's not gonna take off because it's stuck on the ground. So as I accelerate past 40% throttle, they tilt forward, right? So this way you can actually uh, go into forward flight and gain a lot of speed, right? So it will start hovering before that 40% threshold, obviously. So you can slowly increase the throttle and it will hover. Right? And it will be quite stable in the uh, ground effect, right? So if I look external view, it's quite stable here because it's in ground effect, right? This is uh, not uh, assisted whatsoever besides maybe uh, like the, uh, the hinges that are uh, uh, automated. But other than that, everything is manual, right? So the hinges also pivot for yaw. And there's also some rudders in the back that help with yaw when you go fast, right? You also have some ailerons for roll and pitch. Uh, also, the individual uh, rotor blades uh, will pitch uh, to, um, uh, to give you roll and pitch while hovering, right? Because these ailerons are, are useless when you're basically going at zero speed. So, yeah. This thing can go up to a thousand kilometers per hour. It's quite fast, but it will be quite unstable at that speed. So, on the radar here, let's find some carbon.
this is good. Shorter range, 100 meters. So where's the densest carbon? Some over there. quite slippery. Let's put the ground anchor. Now we're stuck there. We have uh, under the drill bit 14% carbon. I guess that's good enough. We can turn on the drill. And we're drilling. We can shut down the engines, save power. We can shut down the scanner as well. So yeah, right now we are drilling, getting some uh, 14% carbon in there, 24% iron. So let's say we have drilled enough, we can just uh, retract the, the drill, let go of the ground anchor, start up the engine again, and go back to where we came from. Okay, let's shut everything down. Put the ground anchor and master off. So this thing took about 20 hours of gameplay to build. And um, uh, I mean, I created the game, so um, I know what I'm doing inside the game. It might take a bit longer for new uh, players, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's doable in 20, 25 uh, hours of gameplay, you know, in a machine like that. It's quite complex, but uh, I believe a lot of players will uh, build some some uh, amazing things that are a lot more complex than that. So, um, uh, also, this thing flies, uh, it's designed to be flown completely manually, it requires a joystick. And uh, full disclosure, I am a pilot in real life, um, so I'm quite used to this. But uh, and there's quite a learning curve to fly these things in the game. The game simulates uh, full aerodynamics, uh, so yeah, it's a it's a sim. It's not an arcadey game, right? Anyways, hope you enjoy.